S&P 500 and the NASDAQ both climbing close to record highs or not yet. We're back to that kind of talk on the Dow above the 19,000 level closing in on that so far elusive but ultimately insignificant uh, 20,000 market would get there. Uh, materials leading the way on the back of more executive orders from Mr. Trump. President signing uh, EOs that would make it easier for TransCanada to build the Keystone XL and for energy transfer partners to build the uh, final uncompleted portion of the Dakota Access Pipeline. Speaking of oil, let's take a look at the uh, black uh, stuff and see how we're doing with oil. Are we in the 50s? Yep, 52 and 55 for Brent. Eric Marshall, President, uh, uh, Director of Research and Portfolio Manager at Hodges Funds, joins us on the program. Eric, uh, thank you for joining us from Dallas today. How's the market doing? Looks like the, at a certain point where you know, politics was going to take a back seat and the market was going to get, get back to being the market, right? Well, you know, we, we went from a period, if you look back just 90 days ago before the election, investor sentiment was extremely negative. And we've seen really a dramatic reversion in sentiment out there as people are very hopeful that we're going to see earnings improvement this year because of new policies that are being ushered in by the Trump administration. Yeah, but the worry though, Eric, is that we're pushing against really high valuations, but you find otherwise. You think we still got some room to, to run? You're looking at a, I think, an overall market, uh, an S&P valuation of less than 17. I thought we were close to 18 or 19. Are we using different figures here? Well, you know, we, we've moved up here in the last, uh, last few days, uh, for, for sure. But I think that the bigger picture is, uh, we still have a very low interest rate environment. And when we look at equities relative to the bond market, they're still very attractively uh, valued when we compare the earnings yield on stocks versus what you can get right now on the 10-year Treasury. So we really think most of the multiple expansion has really occurred in the market from here on out. We really need to focus on individual stock selection, and we need to see earnings improvement. We've had a lot of fundamental improvement priced into the market. We need to start to see some of that materialize, and we need to see higher earnings in order to justify higher prices. You know, when I look at the kind of stocks you like, uh, that you like to spend time looking at these days, we look at uh, corrugated paperboard or, or cardboard, uh, small railroad uh, operators and uh, entry-level home builders. What's the common denominator there? Well, none of these are very exciting stocks, but I think this is a situation where you have things that are either underneath the radar or they're somewhat misunderstood. And one of the things that we like to do at the Hodges Funds is really go in, study what's going on within the individual companies that we invest. In the case of KSU Railroad, this is a stock that used to trade at a premium to a lot of the Class 1 railroads. Today it trades at a discount mm -hmm. because they have exposure right. to Mexico. And we think think a lot of the concerns there are really overblown. And when we look at the cross-border traffic that Kansas City Southern Railroad does with Mexico, 60% of their volume is actually exporting things to Mexico, where only 40% is importing things from Mexico. So we think looking out over the next two years, this is probably a buying opportunity in a stock like that. We've seen all the railroads move up in recent weeks. They haven't participated mm -hmm. in that rally. And we think this is right. an opportunity to buy the stock at 14, 15 times earnings right here. We also like Capstone Paper. This is a corrugated mm -hmm. uh, co paper right. company that basically make cardboard boxes. And they are positioned to benefit from really improved fundamentals across that entire industry. Uh, this is one that's underneath the radar and potentially could be an acquisition candidate. And of course, LGI is a home builder that not very many people have heard of, but they focus on the entry level market, which is an area that we think can do well, even with interest rates moving up here. Okay, great. Uh, thanks for hunting those out for us. Uh, fun to talk about these little gems when we run into them. Hope they work out for everybody. Uh, Eric Marshall Hodges Funds, thanks for joining us on the program. Still to come, the cuts continue at 